hello YouTube and everybody behind the screen. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I am. I uh, a little bit cold. I think the temperature's minus two. Um, and you may recognise some of the surroundings, even though it's frosty. Been here before. This is uh, part of the, the route of Clutha Pike, but today we're doing a bit different. We're going to Ward Stone, which is well, Clutha Pike's on the way, so let's, uh, let's have a nice trip and a long trip because this one is just over 10 miles and wow, it's cold and it's foggy, so should be pretty cool and interesting. Let's go. She's a wee bit chilly out here. <clears throat> so, I'm really going to be flying up here um, because you've obviously already seen Cluffer Pike on the previous video. And if you haven't, go check it out because that's what you do on YouTube. You tell people to go and look at my other video. <laughs> but yeah, if you're liking this video, or you like videos like this, subscribe. Let me know that I'm uh, doing stuff that people like. Um, and I'm getting cold for the sake of uh, making videos here, so, you know, come on. But yeah, this is the, this is why the Norwegians, they never uh, get wrinkles. Because they're always, skin's always tight. I think I'm going to invest in some new winter gloves. These are alright and all, but they're, uh, they're just light gloves. I've never been one to wear gloves, you see, but I think I might now invest in it, because... Yeah, they get very, uh, get very tight in the cold time. some more so I don't know if you saw there are a couple of deer then whether it comes out on editing we shall see but that's pretty cool it's good when you're one of the first deer in the morning to be honest I think I am the first it's one of the good things about the forest of Boland is you tend to not see many people and that sounds very antisocial, but when you're alone and you're out hiking, sometimes the last thing you want to see is other people. Because it's, for a lot of people, and myself I must admit, it's good alone time. You can reflect on things and uh, think positively how to improve stuff. And that's uh, one of the good things I get out of this, is when I'm climbing mountains or little hills or big hills I feel good for the next three or four days this is just freedom of the uh, of a better kind and yeah I just I just love it I'll tell you what what a stunning morning it is. Fog on the lowland and just beautiful views. And it's warming up a bit now as well. It's two degrees. So it's warmed up fairly quickly in all fairness. This is one of those days where you're like, I wish it'd be like this every day because 
it just feels nice. It feels really good. Especially to be out here doing it. Amazing. Hopefully I don't fall on this uh, style. <laughs> Looks a bit slippy on the top. All right, let's crack on. <laughs> oh, flipping heck. Yeah, doing this with the camera, a bit brave, isn't it? Oh. All right, let's, uh, let's get down. Get down. Get down with the style. Oh, shit. Slippy. Yeah, don't forget there's a bottom step. I'd uh, stop for a second, just while I'm not in the sun. I took a look back and saw that. Absolutely amazing. It's warm in that sun. It's warm because I'm warm, really. That's what it is. I mean, it's wow. Temperatures have come right up, seven and a half degrees now. <sighs> the heat is on. The heat is on. <laughs> uh. Get a quick breather, have a bit of water, and we'll crack on. Trig number one of the day. Wow. Kind of a quick. Uh, pit stop, have me uh, Mars protein bar, salted caramel this time, so yeah, see if it tastes, still tastes like curly whirly or whether it's different, the sun is amazing, even though it's hot, wow, what a fantastic day. So, found my protein bar, full of energy now. Now with the uh, the next hill we're heading to is called Grit Fell. Um, doesn't have a trig point, but it's got a cairn. And it's also got a Christmas tree. Very unusual that there's a Christmas tree up a hill, but you'll see it anyway. It's got baubles and all sorts of stuff on it. I didn't bring any decorations. You get a lot of people just coming up here, putting a bauble on and what have you. But yeah, grit fell. Sounds worse than it is. It's a good name for a hill. Shame it deserves its own trig point, really. If you call grit fell, you know. But yeah, it's it's nothing more than a hump on the way towards stone. I'll tell you what, that is one of the most beautiful views I've actually ever seen. I can see Snowdonia from here. It's just a sea of cloud. It's just unbelievable. If I had a telescope, I'd be able to zoom in for you, but it is such a, an amazing feeling. And the peace, the peace is just, Amazing. <sighs> Just 
just feels like it's just me. There's no one else in the world, you know. It's just an amazing feeling. I know right now there's there'll be hundreds of people climbing Snowdon. <sighs> but I am just surrounded by beautiful scenery. I mean, I've got the Yorkshire Dales behind me. I've got the Lake District to the right of me. I've got Snowdonia in front of me. And I've got bloody Forest of Boland surrounding me, the rest of me. It's just, what a place to be. And I tell you what, it's a great place to live. And I'm so lucky to live around this area. <sighs> just peaceful, just absolutely peaceful. There you go, there's the Christmas tree. So just coming down from Gritfell over to here, I've just had this pure rush of, of happiness. <sighs> what a day, it's a, what a day to be alive. <sighs> I'm red hot, but I'm loving it. It wouldn't be the Forest of Boland if it wasn't a tad boggy. And we are very much boggy. <sighs> Bloody bogs. Anyway, we're not far off top of Wardstone now, but I'm just zigzagging at the minute to avoid all the bogs. But we're not doing too bad. Trig point number two. Yeah, sweating. Beautiful, what a day. Right, so we're at trig point number two, not far away from trig point number three. So I'm gonna have me uh, my lunch now because I'm uh, getting a bit hungry and uh, try and uh, stop looking like a beetroot. <laughs> I am hot. <sighs> it's nice up here. It is, there is no wind, absolutely no wind. I can't hear anything except for grouse. It is amazing. Beautiful day, beautiful. Just had me uh, lunch, spot of lunch there. Had a roast beef baguette with the roast beef I did yesterday. Silver side it was, Aberdeen Angus, lovely. I uh, roasted it, slow roasted it in, uh, in beer. It's lovely. <laughs> ah, pheasant Plucker, which is a Boland brewery beer, which is fitting because we're in the forest of Boland. So yeah, check me out. <laughs> right, over to the second trick point and then back on myself, hopefully. I won't fall any any bogs.
There you go. Trig point number two. That was a bit of an easier walk. <laughs> but you can just see now the other side of the Forest of Boland, right into the Yorkshire Dales. Ingleborough looks majestic. <laughs> and from here I can just see where me and Richie came up and did um, Wolf Hole Crag. So if you carry on this route, you're pretty much, you carry on, you, you'll get to Wolf Hole Crag. Um, you could just do a massive loop, um, but not today, just a 10 miler. <sighs> Still silent, absolutely silent, beautiful views. So I'm, I think on the way back, I'm gonna check out that weather station, because um, Wardstone, it's got a weather station on top that probably saw in the drone footage. Have a quick look at that and then I'm going to head back and uh, cruise. A bit slow getting up here, but there's the forest of Boland and it is just, it's just bog. You know, you just get stuck and you have to walk around and zigzag and the journey just becomes so much longer. <sighs> but that's, that's nice, that. Don't want to go. Don't want to go. Ah, I've got it, so let's go. Well, there you have it. The weather station. It's a trailer with a solar panel and some batteries and wind stuff. <laughs> That's pretty cool though, I like it. It's uh, anchored down well. <sighs> what a great day it's been. And I tell you what, that sun is, as much as it's been hot, it's been absolutely lovely. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna call it at the end of the, uh, the video really because the rest of this walk, you've already seen on Clover Pike going back down. So it's pretty pointless me uh, showing you again. So you gotta look at Clover Pike video uh, where me and Richie have a leisurely walk, um, nice easy one. And this wasn't too bad, it was all right. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's been nice. Just gotta go back down now, which is always the easier part. And I'm just loving the views all around me. The, the cloud inversion, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. Um, and I can imagine what those guys feel like climbing proper mountains. You know, the ones in the, the Himalayas or even the Alps, you know, they get proper cloud inversions, <laughs> earned ones. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> so like, comment and subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next video. <sighs> Beautiful. See you later, guys.